Welcome student. Let's learn about division. Division means to divide numbers. Let's look at what division means with help of an example. Divide is separating a number into several equal parts. For example, I have 10 numbered boxes and I want to separate or divide 10 boxes into 5 equal parts such that each part should have equal number of boxes in it. Now, 1 and 2 is separated into 1 part, 3 and 4 is separated into 2nd part, 5 and 6 is separated into 3rd part, 7 and 8 is separated into 4th part, and 9 and 10 is separated into 5th part. So we are basically separating 10 into 5 equal groups of 2. So which means 10 divided by 5 is simply 2. Now let's learn about division by repeated subtraction. Let's take an example for this also. We have to separate 24 bananas into group of 4. We would simply take or subtract 4 bananas at a time from the total number of bananas. Now from 24 bananas, we take away 4 bananas. We get 20. Now again we take away 4, we are left with 16. Again take away 4, we are left with 12. Again take away 4, we get 8. Now again take away 4, we get 4. And again take away 4, we finally get 0. Now let's count the number of times we subtracted 4 from 24 to get 0. And it is 6 times. So that means it is placed in 6 equal groups. So 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6. Do you know we cannot divide a number by 0? Also, when a number is divided by 1, it is always equal to that number. Now here is the table which shows the division by number 2. When 0 is divided by 2, we get 0. When 2 is divided by 2, we get 1. When 4 is divided by 2, we get 2. Similarly, 6 divided by 2 gives 3. Rest other division is given along with it. Similarly, let's see division with number 3. Again, when 0 is divided by 3, we get 0. When 3 is divided by 3, we get 1. And 6 is divided by 3, we get 2. When 9 is divided by 3, we get 3. Similarly, rest other division is given. So we can carry this division by repeated subtraction method also. Now let's look at few terms related with division. As we know that division means to separate a group of objects into smaller equal groups. Now let's see few terms related to division. The starting group is called dividend. The number of groups that are separated out is called divisor. The number of objects in each smaller group is called quotient. So that means 
when two numbers are divided the answer which we get is the question now let's look at some other way to divide the numbers divide two digit number 35 by 5 these are the few steps which will make things easier first step is to identify dividend and divisor 35 is the dividend and 5 is the divisor second step is to place the divisor before the division bracket and dividend under the division bracket third step is to look at the first digit of the dividend if it is smaller than divisor then take first two digits and see how many divisor it contains Like in this example, there are seven fives in number 35. Now place 35 from 5 times 7 below the 35 of the dividend. Draw the line under these and subtract both. The result will be simply 0. Now division is finished and question is 7. Now let's see one more example. We need to divide 30 by 5. Here simply 30 is the dividend and 5 is the divisor. Place the dividend below the division bracket and divisor before the division bracket. Now examine the first digit as it is 3 and less than 5. So take first two digits that is 30 and see how many fives it contains now we will find that there are six fives in 30 now place this 30 from 5 times 6 under 30 of the dividend and draw the line finally subtract this to get 0 so division is finished now and our question is simply 6 now in this session we have learnt about two different ways to divide the numbers so this brings us to the end of this topic Goodbye and see you in the next session.